here we go again, just so you don't have to keep coming back and saying the same thing over again, just to try to get over that hump? Do you just say, hey, here we go again, but we can fight through all of this? Um, not necessarily. Uh, you know, we try to approach every game, um, you know, different uh, with the same mentality, but obviously, you know, it's always against a different team, but, um, you know, for us, it's just, 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 you know, being locked into the moment, not really, you know, thinking about anything else or thinking about here we go again, or if it's happened before, um, we just try to be locked into that moment, that one moment. Sean Cunningham. Can you um, just kind of give me your observations of that play when you had uh, Middleton trapped on that baseline there? Obviously, it kind of sparked a big reaction from your guys' bench. Uh, well, I didn't know that you can be leaning out of bounds and call a timeout. I, I didn't. I would do that more. I would do that more often if you could do that. But I don't know. Christo Saltis. Hello, dear. Hope you're doing well. How could you explain the the third for, uh, the first three quarters of the game and the fourth quarter the effort on those uh, type of games? What would you like to carry on from that game? Uh, just keeping that type of energy up, you know, getting to loose balls, um, you know, forcing them to call some timeouts that they didn't want to call. Um, you know, just get, getting on the floor, getting, you know, extra possessions for us, uh, you know, boxing out, you know, multiple possessions. I mean, uh, multiple efforts defensively just uh, for us, um, you know, if someone gets beat or, you know, if you're helping someone, you know, have having the helpers back uh, and just scram scrambling around and talking and communicating. Um, I think we did that extremely well in the fourth quarter. Um, and that's something that we have to, you know, try to replicate, you know, um, throughout the game. Jason Jones. Hey, Darren. You know, uh, past years, whether it was a guy like Baysmore, Alex last year, or even if you go back a couple of years to Amon, you guys have had these kind of energy grit type guys who have come in to, come around you guys and brought that, but they haven't been around a long, you know, a long period of time. And you got some more guys like that now. How do you get that kind of energy intensity throughout the whole group for a whole game? Um, I mean, that's just something that, you know, people have to bring themselves. You know, um, you can't be, you know, expecting or waiting for someone else to bring it out of you. You know, when once the game starts and you know, those those type of things happen, like where a loose ball or, you know, a rebound's tipped out and it's, and it's those 50-50 balls and those situations where both teams are basically at an even playing field and one team has to come out on top. This is something that, you know, you have to be ready for individually and, and be prepared to do for, you know, not only yourself, but for the team. James Ham. Hey, De'Aaron, uh, the new guys coming out and, and playing extremely well tonight. Just what is specifically Terrence, what is his energy and his play meant to you guys in, in this first week with the team? Uh, it's definitely been big for us. Um, you know, he's a, he's that spark off the bench. Uh, I mean, he's he, he played well against us when he was in Toronto. So, you know, we know what he can do. Um, we know he's a guy that can get that can really get it going. Um, and that's what we you know, that's what we asked him to do, you know, since he's been here, um, you know, don't really don't pass up shots, you know, don't hesitate. You know, if you think you have a shot, take that shot. Um, you know, if you don't get off of it, you know, the ball will come back to you. Um, but that's, that's what he's been for us. And then defensively, he's a guy who can get up under you, a, a, a kind of a strong guard, um, you know, can guard, you know, bigger than his position. And um, that's what he's been for us, you know, energy guy, getting, getting extra possessions for us, you know, creating off the dribble sometimes for himself, being a, being a good catch and shoot guy. Um, and he's, I mean, he's fit right in, you know, since he's been here on the court. Sean Cunningham. Yeah. I was going to ask you about Drew. I mean, it seemed like for majority of that game, probably until that fourth, he seemed like he was really in control. How difficult of a night did you have against him tonight? Uh, I mean, you know, Drew, that's, uh, you know, obviously one of the guys that people talk about is underrated and, and all this, but um, I mean, he can do it on both ends. He can, he can do everything well, you know, that you ask any, any type of guard to do. Um, and he's the strongest shit. That's, that's one thing, um, you know, he's so strong and, you know, low to the ground, he uses his hands well. Um, and yeah, uh, he was a tough guy to guard for sure tonight. Um, but, you know, just continue for us, continue to get better. You know, you're going to play guys like that and guards who can score on all three levels and, you know, play make, 
you know, guys that play the passing lane, things like that. So, uh, but he, I mean, he had a hell of a game and he's always, you know, a tough guy to guard. Last question for Fox tonight, Jason Anderson. Hey, De'Aaron, uh, you know, you guys, you saw things kind of spiral on you a little bit earlier when you lost nine in a row, you know, now you're at three coming off a similar like winning stretch. What, what, what did you learn specifically? And what, what do you feel like has really set in with this team that can help you guys right now to avoid something like that again? Uh, I mean, just being ready to play, you know, hitting first in a game, you know, rather than waiting to get hit and then uh, trying to respond. So, um, I mean, for us next game, we, we have to be ready, you know, um, at least try to in the first, I think, you know, these last three games, we've ended the first quarter down um, and, and it's fighting back. So uh, for us, it's, it's just being ready to being ready to, to deliver the first hit and then, after that, you know, um, whatever happens in the game happens, but we have to we have to start the game better than we have. Thank you, Fox. Appreciate it.